Sooner or later, if you're setting up an entertainment system, you're probably going to need to connect all of your devices, say game consoles, streaming boxes, Blu-ray players, displays or projectors, and AV receivers, or processors. And chances are, if you have more recent gear, all of these devices are probably going to be talking to each other over HDMI. And this leads to a scenario that happens all too often. You'll head onto Amazon and grab any number of the affordable garden variety HDMI cables on the market, or maybe even splurge on some bulky home theater grade cables, only to end up with some weird issues like dropouts at high resolutions, video modes just not being available, or any other number of weird symptoms. Plenty of the cables we've had in our theater over the years that we've invested quite a bit of money into have met their demise in various ways, either because the copper strands in regular cables just aren't up to the years of abuse they might be going through, or sometimes the cables are actually too heavy for the connectors, leading to some pretty disastrous results for the cable and potentially your equipment. We used to think that premium cables were a waste of money, and depending on how far you go with it, you will probably start seeing diminishing returns pretty quickly. But with so many of these HDMI cables just flat out dying, we wanted to look for a better solution. And this led us to fiber optic cables, which unlike standard copper cables, actually use really compact fiber optic transmitters and receivers at each end of the cable to move a signal. Both options ultimately do the same thing, but fiber optic cables introduce a few key benefits. One of the more important of those is signal integrity. Since the video signal is converted into light and sent down the fiber optic strands, it can actually travel much greater distances than a copper cable without signal loss. These are also referred to as active cables, and they are directional, so they have a source end and a display end like on this cable here. All right, so with that out of the way, let's take a look at the actual cables that we're gonna be reviewing in this video. And RuPro was nice enough to send these out for us to check out, so we wanna quickly thank them for that. Uh, here we've got three different variants of their latest Crystal series, HDMI 2.1 certified cables, which all support 48 gigabit throughput and resolutions up to 4K at 120 hertz or 8K at 60 hertz, along with all of the other features you'd expect, like VRR, ALLM, ARC and EARC, everything like that. The cables themselves are nice and flexible, so they're easy to navigate through tight spaces and corners, and the connectors seem to be high quality with an all-metal design that tells you which side of the cable you're currently plugging in. Uh, make sure to keep note of the source and display ends, because you need to hook these up in the right direction in order to get a video signal on your equipment. The outer sheathing also seems really tough on these cables, and that's important because a lot of times regular cables or even braided cables can snag things while you're trying to get them in place. RuPro also sells this cable from anything between 1 meter and 50 meters, and they also offer customizable lengths, so it should be easy to find the length that you need for whatever you're hooking up in your setup. We were given samples of their 7.6 meter, 10 meter, and 15 meter cables, which might be perfect for running between a receiver and a home theater projector, for example. And all of these variants seem to work just fine. The 10 meter version of this cable also came with a little 5 volt USB power adapter, which is just this little thing here with a USB cord hanging out of it, and you can use this on either side of the cable to inject power if your device can't power the cable on its own. But with that said, we've used plenty of fiber optic cables without ever needing to use one of these, so you can probably safely ignore that. In fact, these might seem familiar since we've been using various models of the RuPro HDMI cables in our theater and around the house for the past couple of years now, and we've been very happy with how well they work. The beauty of these fiber optic cables is that they just work like normal HDMI cables. They're basically plug and play, unless of course you do need to use the USB adapter, but for the most part, if you get the direction right, they just work, and in our experience, they've been a lot more durable than regular copper cables. Let's be honest, they're just HDMI cables and they won't bring any kind of a better picture or lower latency or eye popping color to your system. They won't cure any diseases or perform any other kind of miracle. They're just HDMI cables. But the important part is they're very high quality HDMI cables. If you have any kind of a long distance to cover that a copper cable just cannot handle reliably, or you don't want to take the chance of having to replace that long HDMI cable run that snakes through your walls and attic, well, you can be pretty confident that one of these cables is going to get your audio from point A to point B without any kind of problems or limitations for a very long time. Just remember, the fiber optic cable is not going to get you a better image, but what you get with a RuPro fiber optic cable is a stronger, higher quality, and more reliable cable 
that gives you a better experience. So I guess the point that I'm trying to make here is if you spend the money on good cables in the first place, just like these ones, there's a lot less of a chance that you'll end up with any kind of weird problems that typically come with HDMI. RuPro offers many different versions of their HDMI cables depending on your needs, so if you're interested in checking them out, we'll be sure to leave a link down in the description below. In the end, we're really happy with the performance of these cables and have been for quite some time. Once you've dealt with enough broken copper cables, it's not hard to appreciate the reliability of a well-made fiber optic cable. So if you have any questions about the cables in this review, let us know and we'll do our best to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future content. And as always, have an awesome day.